So to solve the equation of motion, there is such a very simple case exist. Now, the physicist developed to go to the very complicated problem in this way. Now, I will talk about canonical transformation. Cano, cano. This is now second stage. Look, in the beginning, suppose your Hamiltonian depend coordinate and momentum, both. Therefore, you cannot use solve this way. Actually, that case is extremely difficult to integrate it. But suppose there is some new set of the variable. Okay, let, let's, 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 okay. In large one. Large P one. Now, uh, P, this is PI and PI. Let's suppose there is a new set of variable which is uh, related to the function. We don't know yet which kind of function. But anyway, there is a 3n set of the variable. And this is also three set of the variable. But we, sh there is one, we insist one condition. After you substitute this into that each variable, you get old Hamiltonian was a variable of this one goes to a new Hamiltonian It's a different shape. OK? You simply substitute this to each and change it to the new variable. After you change it, then also you take the derivative. Then suppose you get. new set of equation which has exactly the same structure of the original equation. That is not general, it, it, this is not general case. But if you are carefully choose some function form, actually you can get exactly the same set of the equation but with a different function. If this is happen, this transformation is called canonical transformation. Now, why we do this one? <laughs> you see, I mean, after you did it, you get again the same structure. But why we do this one is that suppose you find, uh, in general, there's infinitely many combinations of this one. That is a general case. But suppose you carefully choose this set, uh, function, in such a way, new Hamiltonian is only function of new moment
Testamenta. Then, applying this, you can solve it. You see? Therefore, when you try to solve the equation of motion, in a very complicated one, you not directly integrate that e equation of motion. Instead, you try to find a very nice class of the transformation in such a way that new Hamiltonian becomes only new type of momentum alone. Then you can solve it. And originally, this was coordinate and momentum. If it satisfies this equation, that case it's called this new, new set is a generalized coordinate and generalized momentum. Therefore, the, when the, uh, from the old day two-body problem to three-body problem, it becomes very, very complicated. And the people try to integrate directly the equation of motion, but nobody could do it. And then people start to play a lot of game, and eventually come to the concept of canonical transformation. Then, we, to solve the equation of motion is equivalent to, to find this type of canonical transformation. Now, then, therefore, the Hamiltonian which is only depend on the generalized momentum, play a special role when we play the dynamics. That kind special form of the Hamiltonian is called cyclic Hamiltonian. This is another keyword. You see? If you know somebody may ask, or oh, go to the graduate course, if you want to take the examination, maybe there's a quiz examination. You, they will ask you, what is a cyclic Hamiltonian? That is this. Why this called cyclic is more associated to the motion of the uh, planet, some cycle. Often, action angle variable, all that kind of things is related. But I, that is not important. Anyway, the, this concept, you see? Now, another important thing. If Hamiltonian is cyclic, then all generalized uh, momentum is invariant of motion. Now, if you found the invariant of motion, you can solve the equation of motion. So, uh, why, you, you see, the, when you are learning the physics and the, uh, doing that, the lot of this uh, uh, in a school, try to learn quite complicated argument of this one. But why they are doing is because of this reason. 